so uh, in this module i will talk about three very important things as a matter of fact 3 into 10 there are 30 about no sequel so there is something called as three tens so what are those three tens those three tens are why and what and the misconceptions about mysql say for example 10 advantage of nosql as you can see on the screen there are quite a few the long list of 10 advantages i will not be discussing all of those 10 advantages in this module because when we go into the details of these 10 advantages i will talk in more detail about those 10 advantages followed by these 10 advantages I will talk about what are the 10 misconceptions about NoSQL and after that I will briefly talk about why developers the 10 reasons why developers love MySQL so that will be covered in this module so very very briefly I will talk about the first thing is less need for ETL less need for ETL ETL stands for extract transform load and in a data warehouse environment especially that takes a significant amount of effort even in this database environment it will take a significant amount of effort to extract the data transform it and to load it right the good thing uh, in the context of uh, NoSQL is that it has what you call uh, the data has been stored and it could be in the form of uh, columnar it could be triples it could be text and this is all native to NoSQL this is all native to NoSQL it means that there is no transformation required so as the data becomes available in those four forms or in, in those forms which are supported by NoSQL that data can be directly loaded into the NoSQL database so that is one of the 10 advantages then is the breadth of this functionality the breadth of the functionality is that the no sql is if let's let's look at some uh, relational databases i would not like to uh, take the names but there are certain leaders of uh, database community certain products and they are not very very different they are somewhat different in certain aspects but they are all relational when we talk of uh, NoSQL, there are four different types of databases which are supported by NoSQL, right? And that's the biggest advantage. As I said in the previous module also, so it means that because of this breadth and diverse nature of the functionality of NoSQL, you are bound to find an uh, implementation or the type of NoSQL database which is going to meet your requirements i believe you understand no legacy code no sql has not been around for decades five or six decades it has been around for a shorter time right it means that the code which needs to be transformed which needs to be converted so that it can be loaded and worked on in a mysql database is very little or it is hardly any such code so it means you can move very very fast let's look at the misconceptions so what is a misconception a uh, misconception is kind of a misunderstanding or it means that the people have the wrong idea about the right thing so that's a misconception so i'll talk about the acid compliance acid is the gold standard acid is the gold standard uh, it means that uh, the operation is atomic okay c is consistency when the transaction takes place it does not interfere and it is durable right so people have a misconception that maybe uh, mysql or basically we are talking about no sql over here that may have been non acid compliant that is not the case there are many flavors of uh, no sql which are serializable or they are acid compliant to a certain aspect clusters are acid compliant okay and then there are features there are facilities in which you can set the level of acid compliance for this 
this implementation for this uh, type of NoSQL database. So you can do this selectively. So that's a big misconception. Now let's look at some of the reasons why uh, developers love NoSQL. No need to write SQL. Uh, they're uh, writing SQL, good SQL, okay? That is not a science, that is an art. And there are people who have spent their lifetimes perfecting that art, okay? And of course, the databases changes with time also. And when the database changes, the code has to change, okay? The SQL code has to change. And that is a project in itself to change that code, right? And there are, uh, the, the, the developers have developed those hibernate techniques also to change the code, to make it kind of automated, to take the SQL part out of it. But still, you have to go and use SQL. So, for the databases of NoSQL, there are non-relational databases also. And if you still have to use, uh, you are uh, kind of associated with or uh, kind of in love with SQL, then you can create an interface and do SQL, right, on a non-relational uh, NoSQL, right or not. So these are uh, some of the reasons why developers love a NoSQL. And when we go into details, I will discuss all of them, all 10 of them, okay, in detail with you. So that's about for this module.